Welcome back to Infigam, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from radical exponential equations. Equation is 4th root of 8 power x plus 27 plus 4th root of 8 power x minus 27 equal to 4th root of 2 raised to the power 3x plus 1. And here we are going to calculate real solutions. So let's get started by considering our substitution straight away. First radical I will consider A and second radical I will consider B. So I can write our very first equation. It would be A plus B equal to fourth root of 2 power 3x plus 1. Now I will write our substitution. So a is 4th root of 8 power x plus 27. So we can write a power 4 will be 8 power x plus 27. Similarly b power 4 will be 8 power x minus 27. Let us add both the equations. So I can write a power 4 plus b power 4. This will be equal to 2 times 8 power x or I can write 2 times 8 can be written as 2 cube whole power x or I can write 2 times 2 raised to the power 3 x or I can write 2 power 3 x plus 1. This is a power 4 plus b power 4 value. And if you will notice, so we can write here a power 4 plus b power 4. So I will be writing our equation a plus b equal to fourth root of a power 4 plus b power 4. Now I will consider power 4 both sides. So I will be writing here a plus b whole power 4 equal to a power 4 plus b power 4. Now I will use Pascal triangle and binomial expansion. So I need to know the expansion coefficients. So let us use Pascal triangle first. So for power 2 1 2 1 for power 3 coefficients will be 1 3 3 1 and for required power 4 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Let us use. So LHS I will be writing A power 4 plus B power 4. Coefficient 1 is over. Now coefficient 4. I will write 4 AB in bracket A square plus B square. 4 is over. Now 6 coefficient is left. I will write 6 a square b square and then our RHS a power 4 plus b power 4. Now we can cancel a power 4 plus b power 4 from both sides. Now I can see 4 ab times a square plus b square plus 6 a square b square equal to 0. Now I will take 2 a b common. So in bracket it will be 2 a square plus 2 b square plus 3 times a b equal to 0. Or I can write a times b divide both sides by 2. So 2 will be over. In bracket, I will be writing 2 times a plus b whole a square. So it is 2a square plus 2ab square plus 4ab. So I need to manage 3ab. So I will write here minus ab equal to 0. So important conclusion, we can write a will be 0, b will be 0 or 2 times a plus b whole a square equal to ab. So we will check three equations from where we will be having 
real solutions. A equal to 0, B equal to 0, 2 times A plus B whole square equal to AB. Let's check. So let me write here A equal to 0, B equal to 0, 2 times A plus B whole square equal to AB. Now A was the first radical. So I'll be writing here fourth root of 8 power x plus 27 equal to 0. This is for a equal to 0. Raise both sides power 4. So I will be writing 8 power x plus 27. This will be equal to 0. So 8 power x will be equal to negative 27. Now for real solutions, exponential function will be always positive. But here we are getting negative value. This means complex solutions will be there. So we can reject A equal to 0 equation. Now the turn of B equal to 0. So I will write fourth root of B is this radical. So I will write fourth root of 8 power x minus 27 equal to 0. Let me write here fourth root of 8 power x minus 27 equal to 0. Raise both sides power 4. So 8 power x minus 27 equal to 0. Add 27 to both sides, 8 power x equal to 27. Now I can write 27 as 3 cube. We know that 8 is 2 cube. Whole power x equal to 3 cube. Using property of exponents a power b whole power c, anytime we can write a power c whole power b. So I will be writing here 2 power x whole cube. It is equal to 3 cube. Consider cube root both sides will have 2 power x is equal to 3. Now I will use log to find out x. So let us consider log both sides equal to log 3. Now we know the property of log log a power b. This will be equal to b log a. So this x will come out here as a multiplier or coefficient. So I will be writing x log 2. It is equal to log 3. Let's divide both sides by log 2. This side also. So log 2, log 2 will be over. We will get our first real solution x is equal to log 3 with base 2. Now third equation is left. It is, let me write here 2 times a plus b whole is square equal to a times b. Now a plus b was, this value was a plus b, right hand side. So I will write fourth root of 2 raised to the power 3x plus 1. Let's apply here. So I will write 2 times fourth root of 2 power 3x plus 1 whole square. And product of a and b. So this was a, this was b. So I will club both the fourth roots. So I will write fourth root of 8 power x plus 27 times 8 power x minus 27 and then we can write a plus b times a minus b identity it is equal to a square minus b square let us apply to our rhs radicand so i will be writing here 2 times 
I will write is fourth root of I will take fourth root here and then I will write 2 power 3x plus 1 whole square using exponent laws. Right hand side it will be equal to fourth root of 8 power x whole square minus 27 whole square. Now I will consider power 4 both sides. So I will write here 16 times 2 raised to the power 3x plus 1 whole square equal to 64 power x minus 729 using exponent laws. Now left hand side will be 16 times 4 power 3x plus 1 equal to 64 power x minus 729. Let us write this equation here. 16 times 4 raised to the power 3x plus 1 equal to 64 power x minus 729. Now I can write 16 times. Here I will write 4 times 4 raised to the power 3x. Right hand side is 64 power x minus 729. So left hand side will become 64 times 4 power 3x is 64 power x equal to 64 power x minus 729. If I will take this term to the LHS, it will give us 63 times 64 power x equal to negative 729. Now as we know, exponent function or exponential function would be always positive and right hand side we have negative so I can write complex solutions will be here so we can reject. So the only solution which we calculated it was x equal to log 3 with base 2. Now I will verify. So let's check x is equal to log 3 base 2 so we can write 2 power x will be 3. Now I will consider cubing both sides so I will be having 8 power x will be 3 cubed so 27. If I will write our equation then it is fourth root of 8 power x there we will put 27. Right hand side if I will check this radicant only then it is 8 power x times 2. Now we will check our LHS and RHS. So I will write here LHS fourth root of 8 power x is 27. So 27 plus 27. First radical is over plus fourth root of 8 power x is 27 minus 27 equal to fourth root of 2 times 27. Now this is 0. So I can write fourth root of 54. It is equal to fourth root of 2 times 27, 54. LHS equal to RHS. Hence verified. So the only real solution which we will accept it is x is equal to log 3 with base 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.